In this video, we'll discuss how to add a button in the main form and we'll write a PowerFX formula to show or hide the button based on the record properties and uh, we'll try to store the data back to the table using a patch formula. So for that, I'm going back to this solution. So in the solution, we have a CMS app and uh, we'll try to edit a new tab. We'll go to this Eclipse and here we have edit command bar and when we click this edit and we'll, it will open these options and uh, in the previous video we discussed on main grid now we'll try to add a button on the main form click edit now it will open all the existing buttons which are available I'm trying to add one more button here so I'm giving a name as patch data and here um, you can use any of the existing icons from here we can use any any of this I'll use anchor for this and here the action we are going to run the formula which is power FX formula and in the visibility I'm changing to show on condition from the formula so in the visible I'm changing this one with the if so here I'm writing a logical test which is self dot the item which is in the form dot now we have contract category in it so I'll take this contract category so if it is high only I want to show so for that again I'm typing this contract category from the contract management dot if it is high then only I want to show so that so then I am giving which is true and then will give as false now we have written this formula to test this one I am saving this just save and publish so once it is published and will play this application so here we have a play option let me click this one it will open the, it will open the app and uh, we'll try to refresh once again so here I'm opening any one of this now here we have a rest one so when I click this one I can able to see this patch data here and uh, we'll go back to the main form and uh, I have this yet and which is low and we'll try to refresh this one the patch you cannot able to see here if you go back and if you go to rest we can able to see this patch data if you go back and if you open this yet and you cannot able to see that patch option so why it is not coming here because the contract category value is low here so that's why that is not appearing in the command bar and if you go back and this rest the contract category value is high so that's why we can able to see this patch option now we'll come back to this now we'll try to patch the data for example if it is high now I want to add some you know tax information here so for that we'll go back here and we'll try to edit this application now I'm trying to edit this form inside this form I'll add one more section there will add some tax information or you can directly add that in the approval section so if we go to ABC you can able to search for that and uh, here we have tax which is a number column I'm adding inside this approval section now it is appearing here I will save and publish this one Now which is published we'll go we'll go back here so here in the run formula we can see this open formula bar so when we click this open formula bar and here we can see this unselect in this unselect directly I'm writing a patch and open this one and uh, I want to update this one in the contracts management table and here to get the record we can write this self dot and then you can able to see this selected dot and then item so which is the record which is the current record now I want to update the tax field only so you can type this tax and you can get the intelligence inside this I just want to add tax as something like thousand or you know you want to decrease or increase you can able to do this and also 
you can able to do the calculation also based on the cost that we'll see the upcoming videos how we can do the calculation so that we can directly implement in the record you can implement a calculated column and based on that based on the uh, based on the value if you want to update uh, it you can able to update but so here what I'm trying to do is I, I'm trying to uh, do the partial update in the record using this patch formula so now we are done with this one so whenever uh, whenever user hits this patch data option and it will update the DAX field now if you click uh, save and publish now the data will now this uh, command will save and publish and then we can able to test here in this form okay it is still publishing and then what we'll do is might complete it we'll try to refresh this one now you can able to see the tax column is appearing here and uh, we have uh, updated the formula and uh, okay new version of the app is available okay i hope uh, which is published and uh, this um, this browser taken that published app so when I click this patch data now I'm expecting that the uh, tax will update here see it is updated directly so the thousand is added here now if you want to see for example if I hit this one and it is updating here I'm not setting up the field I'm just updated which means I have updated in the table so to test that one you can go back to your application if you go back here and here we have application we have contact management uh, uh, table is available here and the data is also available here so now I want to see the tax so I'll add into this view select this tax and click save now you can able to see so this rest is updated with thousand so using this patch formula we can able to do the data creations and we can able to do the data updations also for example if you want to uh, add the data from the new uh, from the new form also you can able to add using patch formula so for that so now we, we are in the farm itself and uh, which is you know rendering only on that when whenever it is in edit mode so what I'll do is instead of doing this one we can able to you know work with the new form as well in the new form we already have for example if you go back to new form if you click new we, we we already have save and save and close button so based on some conditions based on some values if you want to render these buttons and it is not directly possible you have to update here so we do have this save we do have this save and close but when you come this one and these all buttons are in read only mode you cannot able to do anything here to to overcome this one and if you if you want to add new and uh, to work with this same kind of save and save and close functionality so we can able to do in this manner we can able to add a new command here and uh, that also works for saving the data and closing the form directly so we we have plenty of things to work on this command bar that we'll discuss